today we're at Packwood House. This is one of the closest houses to where we live and I don't know why I didn't have any decent photos of it to show you. So I'll come back today to have a look and show you some of the beauty of Packwood. That's the house over there and as you can see the wisteria is out. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the wisteria. And uh, if we walk down here, it's not as good as it normally is, but um, we do get some lovely flowers. And over there, it doesn't open till 12, I'll show you later. But um, we've got all these beautiful trees. And at the back, there's a spiral maze, which the kids would absolutely love. So yeah, this is Backwood House. And here's a little bit more of a close-up <coughs> of the actual house. We're going to walk down and hopefully get a close-up of the wisteria before people come. I don't know why we don't come here more, because it's the closest to where I live. And it really is stunning, as you can see. Look at the wisteria. Lovely old house. We're just about to go inside and uh, take some pictures. So there we go. Packwood house. So this is the secret of Packwood House, one of the most unusual things that I've seen when I've been to National Trust. I'm hoping it's not too busy but there's usually a lot of people so I might tip the camera down now and again but it's like a little papyri maze and it leads up to a secret. Let's see where we go. There we go. Round and round. Just trying to tip the camera so I don't get people in it. Going round and round. And 
as we're going around, it's going up. Up and up and up. Kids would love this. So if you've got kids, bring them to Packwood House and don't miss this bit out. The garden that this bit is in doesn't open until 12. Not good for social distancing there. We're going up and up and up. Yeah. 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 Lots of people. Oh gosh, quite a trek. Getting to the top. I think we're nearly there now. I hope we are. Kids are lovers. the kitchen gardens at Packwood House. A lot of people miss this out because it's hidden away. Um, it's by the cafe courtyard at the back. So don't miss it if you come, especially in the springtime because as you can see there's quite a lot of flowers out. If you like looking at the flowers, definitely good. Look at all the tulips. Definitely a good place to go. Let's walk through the tulips. Quite a nice quiet place to come and have a sandwich as well. Not sure if you're allowed picnics, but I'm gonna look that up and post it on here. Yeah, don't miss the kitchen gardens. You can quite easily miss them and walk past them because they're hidden away. But very nice. There we go. Yeah, so in this um, kitchen garden that we found, look at this. If you had kids and you brought your picnic with you, you can sit there, little table, and then we have the pottering shed. Shall we see what's inside? Oh, I can't get in. The gate's open in the wrong way. Oh, okay, there we go. Look at that. Horseshoes, how cute is that? For the little kids to play in. <laughs> and see, we've got the alphabet on. Lovely place. Don't miss it.